Hi, so for this video, we are going to set up the Redux. So let's start for this. We have to install the Redux toolkit. Redux ES toolkit. Okay, now that it's, it, it's installed, we also have to install React. Redux. So this might be able to connect React and Redux. So we are here. So first thing that we have to do, we come here in main. So we are going to need to import the provider from React Redux. Second. We have to import our store from generate yet let's wait now store and let's create the store so for the store here in our source folder create a new folder named app and second let's say store.ps <coughs> so here no store let's configure a store so let's import configure store from Products toolkit. Second, let's import out. We haven't defined that one yet. So, to configure a store, let's write store to be configure store. And here we are going to add our reducers. And for now, that file is empty. Let's restart the server. And there we go. Now it's functional, so let's finish to configure the store, <coughs> the main .gsx, and here you want to wrap our app in the provider. So, say store, info store and yeah now we have set up our redux so now we uh, are going to be able to access the states in a global level so let's just close here we don't need all the tabs open close all and first thing we need since you are using React Toolkit we also to create a folder named features is where we are going to put our slices and let's create a new folder named hot for authentication and here the new folder we want to create the slice one that's going to be a route dot slice going to be used to um, handle our slice and another one that's going to be other dot service we're going to separate the code here it's going to be for the state and it's going to be for the queue requests okay so in your out slice let's import 
create slice. And also create a sync tank. Create a sync tank is basically a function so we can handle promise, promise and uh, also cases redux. So let's configure our initial state. Initial state, we want a user. Let's say no first. Is error going to be false? Is success also going to be false with a small f? Web is loading. That initially is also going to be false. And the message that we are going to retrieve from our APIs is going to be empty for now. Okay, so now let's create a reducer <coughs> for this. We do export const out slice and here we create a slice let's give a name for it <coughs> it's to be name of initial state it's going to be our initial state you already defined that and now let's set up a reducer so for reducers at the moment it's going to be empty. We are not going to use reducers so much, but what are we going to use? It's the extra reducers. So our extra reducers will allow us to have extra functionality and mm -hmm. is particularly useful to handle the create a sync tank functions in the different case. So reducers. Builder in here, let's say Builder, and after we can handle the different case. But for the moment, we don't need this, so let's comment. And now we go back to store. Yes, and we want to add here a reducer to be out, out reducer. Let's read this not define. We have to import this, import out reducer. From have to export this. So for this, it's export default out slice <coughs> reducer. And since you are here, we can also. We set the server. Was the content invalid? If you are using GXX, hey, the thing is, you are using it. We have to name it PSX. Let's restart the server again. It's time that the error is here. Ah, and I forgot to complete this. So, going to be. 
features out out slice and and I think I got it it's here and it's, it's working now yeah it's just putting here the default we don't need to use and we don't have to actually browser so we have to import auto reducer auto reducer here and now our store is configured so can we do now so we can create a quick a sync tank that's going to be used for uh, demonstration but we also also are going to need this for the register so it's going to say const register to be equal create a sync tank and the function has two parameters First, we put the name, it can be anything we want up here. Let's say out register. And here, it's going to be in a sync. It's going to have user data. And this is good for now. So, for here, let's actually log the user data, and this is to demonstrate how does it works. <coughs> so now we have to set up the register page. It's here. Okay, and here we want to import some things. Let's import the use dispatch and the use selector. From React Redux and we also want to import the register from features out out slice. Let me see if I have this correctly. Okay, export register. Okay, so here below the registering, it's going to call the dispatch. The dispatch, as the name indicates, it's going to be used to dispatch functions to a Redux store. And the use selector is going to be used to select state from. Uh, from the store. So for the use selector in that way, in that way. So we are going to select use selector and we want to retrieve the state from our state dot out. And here we want to get the state of the user that is loading is error is success and message. And I don't think I forget anyone. So let's dispatch state to rear. So in the end submit after this, we do else, trace the user data. It's going to be a parameter. It's going to be dispatch here. And 
for this we want to dispatch the first name email last name all of this Okay, hey, here we call the function dispatch, we register the user, user data. Okay, so I think everything is working how it's supposed to be. Let's make a text. Joe, Nav, Yale, the password, and if we call here in the register, we can see that uh, our information, our state, got uh, us here, in that function. So, what we did, we called First, we did a setup of everything. We create a function register that we are calling here <coughs> using use selector. And we are getting these parameters that uh, we are not using these, but we are going to need these for the extra reducers and to handle the site. And after we dispatch the new data to here. So, the next step, and we can see it is here. The next step that we are going to do, we are going to set up the out service and the extra reducers so we can actually dispatch that information. So now we have the input, we have the input edge data. Now we have to create with Axios the service that's going to send a post request our backend so that uh, our user will uh, be able to authenticate in this case to register in uh, our backend and uh, yes i think that is everything for this video so if you like this video like share and subscribe and see you in the next video